Jordan Addison, who, of course, transferred over to USC. He was the Blitnikoff winner at Pitt last year. Jordan Addison was spotted wearing the number three jersey at USC's Salute Detroit uh, over the weekend on Saturday, I believe. He says that the program brought the number out of retirement for him to wear as a Trojan. Now, USC has done this before uh, with the number 20, and I can't, have, I can't remember who they brought it out of retirement for, and I can't remember who it was even retired for. But I know that Carson Palmer was number three at USC. I did not know that they had retired his jersey. I understand that he is a Heisman winner. He did all sorts of big things at USC. However... I think that we need to get to a point where some of these programs either take the jersey retirement seriously or just stop doing it, right? Uh, I, I, my thought process on this is you only do it for all-time legends and do it well after they have played so that you understand what the statistics mean in the history of the game and for the history of your program. And then you don't undo it. Once you retire somebody's jersey, that thing is done. You don't give it to somebody else, especially somebody that's going to come in and play for your team for one season and then leave. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me to retire a jersey. Now, you can obviously honor players, but why on earth would you retire somebody's jersey? And Carson Palmer played, what, 20 years ago? It was not that long ago. Why are we retiring jerseys that quickly? It, it's another faction of this society that we are just as quick to pull something away as to give it. I, I don't believe that Carson Palmer's jersey should have been retired. Uh, and if they do that just for people that win Heisman trophies, maybe there's a different way to do that. Uh, there are some schools where you build a statue for Heisman Trophy winners. I believe Oklahoma is doing that. Alabama has done that. Um, or not Alabama with the Heisman trophies, but coaches that win national titles at Alabama. Uh, Florida has done uh, statues for Heisman Trophy winners. Like, there are other ways to honor players as opposed to taking away a jersey number. Because if all you're going to do is ask that player if you can unretire their jersey for a certain recruit to come in or a certain player to transfer to your school to wear that jersey, then what is the point? So, it, and I'm not super fired up about this. I don't care one way or the other. If you're USC, do whatever you want to do. It just seems ridiculous on so many different levels that Carson Palmer, one, had his jersey retired already at USC, and two, that they would so quickly unretire it for a high-caliber wide receiver to transfer into your school to wear that jersey because he wants that number. It just seems insane to me. Nothing is sacred anymore. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.